So this RPD car, uh, cruiser has been following me now for uh, several blocks. Just turned off to the side. I don't know if you got to see it there, but they do that a lot. They um, basically what will happen, and they do this to everybody. They they probably have done it to you guys. Basically, what happens is most people don't realize a police officer will get behind you, and uh, just making sure it turned. Yep, a police officer will get behind you, and basically. Um, They won't stop you right away. They'll follow you for a while. And that's giving them time. You don't know it, but while you're driving and while you see them in your rearview mirror and you're wondering, like, what's up? Why are they following me so close? Or why are they following me for, you know, why have they been following me for a while? You don't know it, but they're running your plate. And see, that's that's the... Um, that's the uh, that above the law mentality of the shit they get away with. They could run your plate just because they don't like the color of your car. I mean, literally, that is that is the power that we as a society have given law enforcement officers. In addition to the power to kill, the power to uh, restrict your freedom, the power to kidnap you, right? The power to falsely arrest you. So that is another power that we have given them um, that many times they abuse. So here's what I think happened. I'm going to tell you right now what I think happened. Um, what I believe happened is this. It happens all the time to me. I just don't, you know, don't really post the videos, but I have several videos um, like this because what happens is two things. Either my camera is always recording or if it's not, which usually it is again, but if it's not, I always hit record anytime I see a law enforcement uh, vehicle uh, around. So we open this window here. Get get a little little breeze in here. So what I think happened is this: he or she, I, I couldn't tell if it was a a male or a female officer, but it was Rochester, New York Police. In fact, to be honest, at one point they were so close to my bumper that I couldn't even see the cruiser number. Usually they have a cruiser number on the front and back. Um, excuse me. So, you know, right about that point when I saw him so close, I, I, that's when I started recording. And what I think happened is this: if if they didn't recognize my vehicle initially, what happens often is that when they run the plate, obviously the plate's going to come back to me and my name. As soon as they hear that name, it's, you know, usually, usually, um, it's, uh, let me turn off. You know, they turn off or they turn away or they turn around or they pull to the side. And um, once they realize who it is that, that they're following. So, but next time it happens to you, and you see a police officer following you, following you, and following you for a while, uh, what they're doing all that time is running your plate, running your information, which, again, they can do for whatever reason they want, simply because they feel like it. Thank you for watching. Peace.